put the clipper down and none of your hair will be harmed. So let's just turn the clipper off and I'll cut your hair. I know what's happening at home. A lot of you sent me DMs after the last video saying, hey, the cleanup was good for my sons or my, fa my father, my boyfriend, my husband, whoever, but now I need to focus on the haircut. The hair is getting out of control and a lot of you sent me photos of clippers that you ran out and bought. Well, let's just slow our roll for a minute here. because I've seen some photos already of some jacked up hair that's being cut at home. I know you're trying to make it through until you can see your barber stylist, but let's make sure we can do things right in the process. I'm going to show you some basic things, things that can get you through until we can get out of lockdown and get back into the shops to see our barbers and stylists. The clipper kit you bought came with a series of attachments, guards. They go on the end of the clipper so they can determine the length that you're leaving behind. That's right, you're cutting hair, but you're leaving hair behind, and I'm going to show you how to blend that out. There's going to be a couple areas of the head that I work on. Things are going to speed up. You can rewind if you need to, but I'm going to show you how you can blend things out so you got him looking good, again, just to get by until we're all out of lockdown. Okay, let's cut some hair. The first thing I'm going to do is make a horseshoe parting to separate the top half of the head from the bottom half. Then I'm going to put a number three guard on that clipper. I want you to take a look at the angle of the clipper. I'm gliding straight up the head and moving up and away and cutting everything below that parting out. The guard on the clipper leaves a length behind. Yes, you're cutting hair, but you're leaving hair behind. It's important to be nice and smooth, even as you try to get around the ears, over the hairline, up to the part. Get it all as smooth as possible. If you have to take a couple passes, so be it. Just take it nice and slow. If you have too much moisture in the hair, that could be a problem too with a lot of clippers. So make sure it's kind of dry so you can glide through the hair and make sure that the clipper is cutting nice and smooth for you. Again, multiple passes are okay as long as you're following the path you need to be on, which is nice and smooth, easy strokes. As I finish, I'm going to put a number two on the clipper and work a little bit lower. I'm dropping it down because I want to create a tapered effect, a nice clean blend. And I'm working lower than I started with. In other words, the parting was great to start with and clean everything out. And now I need to drop down closer to the temple and below the occipital bone. My fingers will show you exactly where I'm gliding up and through. I'm just working in that area, working my way down the head shape. After this, I'm going to take that clipper and I'm going to take the guard off. And I'm going to work with a clipper without a guard. But I'm really going to be focused on the perimeter. Just tapering out that edge and getting all the fuzzy stuff over the sideburn, over the ear, on the neckline, the stuff that drives us guys nuts. I'm just going to fan that out a little bit with quick motions, just cleaning it out, but I'm not taking it too high. The big thing you'll notice with the clipper is I'm working nice and smooth. I'm taking nice clean strokes that just fan their way out. In other words, I'm lifting that blade up and away from the head so I can create a tapered effect nice and clean as I finish him up on the perimeter. After that, I'm done with the bottom half of the head and I can work my way up to the top. The top is all about angles. I'm going to show you. Look at the points of my fingers as I hold the hair and look where I'm going to start cutting. It's going to create an angle that moves straight up to a point on top of his head. There's the angle with my comb if you really look for it. Rewind if you have to. The key here is I want to connect to what I did on the bottom half of the head. That's right, I left hair on the bottom half of the head and now I can grab it with my fingers and I can see right where I need to connect. I can connect those dots, so to speak, and create an angle and that makes it nice and smooth as I transition to the top half of the head. Look, the widest part of anybody's head is right there at the temples and if I can create an angle here, I'm going to remove that length and that weight that builds up in that area. Hey, check it out. As I get to the front hairline, you're going to see me pull all of his hair back. That means I can leave all that length on the front because he wants to style with it. That's cool. Let him do that by bringing that all the way back. After I finished one side, I'm going to start to work my way around the back of the head. But here's the deal. You'll always notice one thing. My finger angle stays the same. I'm angled up and down with a slight angle here, but I'm always connecting the dots. As I work my way around the head, you'll notice one thing. I always have my guide. In other words, the hair that I've left behind with my clipper work is always at the points of my fingers. Remember, I'm creating an angle here, and you can see that with my cutting action as I comb through the hair. 
As I get to the front of the other side, I'll push that back to leave more length. Again, he wants to style with it. So if I over, over direct it back, I can keep that length. All right. Now I'm left with the, the final portion, the top point. Look at that point. I'm only cutting off the point though. That's it. Look at the angle I've left behind. I'm cutting that straight across and that removes a little bit of a buildup of weight that may become unnecessary. As I get to the front, guess what? I'll over direct that back too. And now he's got enough length to style with. And hey, check it out. Hey, I may do some cleanup on the front hairline if the length's too long, just a little bit, but I've still left enough length to make him happy to style with. And I can put some product in his hair and style away and he's looking good. Take it slow and easy and you'll get there. And we can't wait to see you in the shop. Promise not to sneak those clippers again? Okay. Okay, he's cleaned up, tapered down on the sides and back. Do not block that off. Follow those steps I showed you by using those guards. I left a little bit more length on top. Again, this is just to hold you over so you can get back inside the barber shop to see your barber and stylus. We're hanging on, we're hanging in there at Floyd's 99 and we can't wait to see you soon. Take it nice and slow and you'll get your way through until you can get back in the shop.